until proven otherwise, every diastolic heart murmur is considered pathologic. Until proven otherwise, fever and a heart murmur in a single patient is considered infective endocarditis. Until proven otherwise, the sign of laser trela is considered occult malignancy. All pigmented subungual lesions are considered to be melanoma until proven otherwise. Until proven otherwise, six or more cafe au lait macules greater than 1.5 centimeters in diameter represents neurofibromatosis. Until proven otherwise, persistent poikilodermatous patches on non-sun exposed areas represents mycosis fungoides. A patient with a head injury who has talked and deteriorated has expanding intracranial hematoma until proven otherwise. A blown pupil appearing suddenly in a patient with altered consciousness is considered to represent uncle herniation until proven otherwise. Until proven otherwise, acute onset of a painful Horner syndrome represents carotid dissection. Until proven otherwise, back pain associated with syncope or near syncope represents acute aortic dissection. Until proven otherwise, bilious emesis in an infant indicates midgut volvulus. Until proven otherwise, a child with fever and rapidly progressive petechial rash is considered to have disseminated meningococcemia. Until proven otherwise, acute right lower quadrant pain or tenderness represents acute appendicitis. Until proven otherwise, all prepubertal and young adult males with acute scrotal pain are considered to have testicular torsion. Until proven otherwise, a toxic appearing and drooling patient with a brawny cervical swelling has Ludwig's angina. Until proven otherwise, an enlarged supraclavicular lymph node represents cancer. Odinophagia or heartburn in an HIV positive patient is considered to be, until proven otherwise, candidal esophagitis. Until proven otherwise, a mouth ulcer that lasts for more than two weeks represents carcinoma. Until proven otherwise, an adult with hoarseness for three weeks or more showing no signs of improvement has carcinoma of the larynx. Until proven otherwise, every acute sore throat with dysphagia represents epiglottitis. Until proven otherwise, a neck mass in a patient older than 40 years represents malignancy. Until proven otherwise, Focal brain lesions in patients with advanced HIV represents cerebral toxoplasmosis. Until proven otherwise, a first unprovoked seizure in an adult represents <clears throat> intracranial tumor. Until proven otherwise, sensory symptoms in the hands and spastic lower extremities in patients older than age 50 represents cervical spondylosis with myelopathy. Until proven otherwise, 
diplopia or ptosis that is inapparent or minimal on awakening and appears or worsens throughout the day represents myasthenia gravis. Until proven otherwise, bitemporal hemianopia represents space occupying lesion pressing on the optic chiasm. Until proven otherwise, a sudden, very severe headache in an adult not prone to headache. Also, if the headache is first or worst, it's considered subarachnoid hemorrhage. Until proven otherwise, a headache in a patient at least 50 years old is considered temporal giant cell arteritis. Until proven otherwise, trigeminal neuralgia appearing before age 40 represents multiple sclerosis. Until proven otherwise, facial nerve palsy in an endemic area represents Lyme disease. Until proven otherwise, any woman in the reproductive age group who is sexually active and misses her menstrual period is considered to have pregnancy. Until proven otherwise, seizures during pregnancy represent eclampsia. Until proven otherwise, the combination of a positive pregnancy test, vaginal bleeding, and abdominal pain represents ectopic pregnancy. Until proven otherwise, any vaginal bleeding that presents more than one year after menopause represents endometrial cancer. Until proven otherwise, an adnexal mass in a postmenopausal woman represents malignancy. Until proven otherwise, a painless vaginal bleeding during the second half of pregnancy represents placenta previa. Until proven otherwise, hypertension and proteinuria during pregnancy represents preeclampsia. Until proven otherwise, a painful, complete third nerve palsy represents aneurysm. Until proven otherwise, leukocoria represents retinoblastoma. Until proven otherwise, a unilateral red eye associated with vomiting indicates acute angle closure glaucoma. Until proven otherwise, an infant or a young child with cloudy or hazy corneas, photophobia, an enlarged globe or megalocornea represents congenital glaucoma. Until proven otherwise, retinal hemorrhage in a child other than a newborn indicates child abuse. Until proven otherwise, a healthy child less than four years of age with a limp has hip dysplasia. Until proven otherwise, a healthy afebrile child between the age of four and nine with an unexplained limp has leg calve perthes disease. Until proven otherwise, the child or adolescent with painful scoliosis has an underlying tumor or infection. Until proven otherwise, knee pain in a child indicates hip pathology. Until proven otherwise, a urinary tract infection in a neonate, infant, or young child indicates 
structural abnormality such as vesicoureteral reflux. Until proven otherwise, a cavitary upper lobe pneumonia indicates tuberculosis. Until proven otherwise, unilateral hilar enlargement indicates bronchogenic carcinoma. Until proven otherwise, a focal lung mass greater than 3 cm in diameter indicates bronchogenic carcinoma. Until proven otherwise, posterior mediastinal mass in a child less than 5 years old represents neuroblastoma. Until proven otherwise, widened growth plates or physes represents rickets. Until proven otherwise, vertebra plana in a child under age 15 represents eosinophilic granuloma, also called histiocytosis X and Langerhans cell histiocytosis. Until proven otherwise, lobar collapse in a middle-aged or elderly smoker represents bronchogenic carcinoma. Until proven otherwise, a unilateral serous otitis media in an elderly patient represents nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Until proven otherwise, a hepatic brewery and rub on auscultation indicates liver cancer. Until proven otherwise, a lower GI bleed or positive occult blood test of stool in patients over age 40 or iron deficiency anemia in an elderly man indicates colon cancer. Until proven otherwise, the finding of new onset painless jaundice indicates pancreatic cancer. Until proven otherwise, an acute change in mental status in a geriatric patient indicates delirium. Until proven otherwise, any new symptom in an elderly patient should be considered a possible drug side effect. Until proven otherwise, a painless, non-transilluminating testicular mass in a man younger than 40 years of age represents testicular cancer. Until proven otherwise, macroscopic or gross painless hematuria represents urinary tract cancer. Until proven otherwise, unilateral sensoneuronal hearing loss is caused by acoustic neuroma, also called vestibular schwannoma. Until proven otherwise, an elbow fat pad sign in a trauma patient represents fracture. Until proven otherwise, any patient with back pain who is receiving corticosteroid therapy indicates compression fracture. Until proven otherwise, tenderness over the physis of any bone in a pediatric patient following trauma represents Salter-Harris-1 fracture. Until proven otherwise, hemoptysis in a smoker represents bronchial carcinoma. Until proven otherwise, the acute onset of a monoarticular arthritis represents septic arthritis. Until proven otherwise, a patient with a history of cancer who complains of new onset back or neck pain has vertebral metastasis. Until proven otherwise, a warm swollen foot in a diabetic patient with long standing neuropathy without local or systemic signs of infection represents Charcot neuroarthropathy.